What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the all new 900 Global Eternity. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwick.com, use my promo code NAPOLIS10, that'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there's gonna be a link where you can order this 900 Global Eternity or anything bowling related. It's a great way to help support the channel. All right, so let's get into some of the tech because this ball, has potential like big time potential it features the epoch core the epoch asymmetric core which is the design that is inspired from the original break core which if you guys remember older 900 global balls that featured that break core all those balls were pretty much amazing but it is going to be a little bit different than that break core rg is a 2.49 and again in 15 pounds a max differential of 0.050 and it has a lower psa than the original break core being 0.014. Then wrapped around that is the S84 Response Pearl Cover. Stop me if you've heard that one before. It's the same pearl cover that was on the Altered Reality. So they took a modified brake core, wrapped it around in the same cover that was on the Altered Reality, which is a wildly popular ball. And then it does come out of box with that React to Gloss finish. And then with the layout, I went with the same layout that I've been doing on a lot of my asymmetricals lately, being 60 by four and a half by 30. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys are excited for this all new 900 Global Eternity. For me, I am. I'm a big fan of all the break balls and I was a really big fan of the altered reality. So what I'm looking for, because it does have a little bit lower of a PSA, what I'm looking for is a motion that's gonna be a little bit cleaner than that altered reality with a little bit more pop down lane. That's the big thing that I'm looking for. So we're gonna be here on lane 34 at South Point on a fresh typical house shot. And then towards the end, I may go to lane 33, which is nice and transitioned to see how it looks like with a little bit of burn through the fronts. All right, this is the very first shot here with the 900 Global Eternity. We're gonna take a guess and we'll make an adjustment throughout. That. All right, so we're gonna move a little right of that, but I really like that motion, the way it went from skid to hook to roll. Let's move right a little bit. Splittage of the 8-9, and I think, I think that was a much better spot. Let's go right back to that spot. Ah! All right, let's not miss as much to the right. Make a better shot and see how it reacts. That's really good. When you don't yeah, that looks like a really good shot when I can not miss, right? Let's see if we can't repeat that here. Oh, that would have been so nice. Let's go back to that same spot, firm up a little bit before we chase it in and see how this looks. Let's start chasing this in a little. So this definitely feels a little smoother than the altered reality. But it, it, it gets up and goes. Yeah, I like that even on the fresh, it wants to handle that oil in the middle and has no problem making the corner. Yeah, that one I got it right a little bit. All right, let's not miss too much more right, because it looks good from here. Let's make a better shot than that. That's a good one. All right, one more shot here, then we'll take a break, and then we'll turn it over to the burn lane on lane 33. All right, so coming off the lanes, throwing the Eternity for the first time, 
When I tried to play a little bit straighter, it didn't look all that great. So I had a hankering suspicion that if I moved in, kind of slow wheeled it, is what was gonna look good. And sh lo and behold, it did. I think that for me on the fresh with the polish, it's a little bit too clean through the fronts. But I think that as I moved in, the cover, that S84 is really strong, is enough to handle the oil. And like I said, I think it's a little bit smoother than the Altered Reality, but it has no problem creating shape down lane. So now we're gonna move into lane 33, which is a nice and transition lane. I just got done reviewing the Rotor Grip TNT on that lane, which is a very strong cover ball. My buddy Chris threw a bunch of shots on lane 33 as well with the TNT. So this would be more like a scenario where I would throw something like this Eternity with the polish. I try not to throw a whole lot of polish stuff on the fresh. And I think that that Eternity looks good with the polish, but I think if I was gonna use it on the fresh, maybe like 3,000 is what I'm thinking, like 3,000 for the fresh. So let's get on 33 and see how it looks on the burn lane. All right, first shot here on the burn lane. Let's create some angle here and see how it looks. Yeah, I mean, that already looks much, much better on the burn lane. Let's try that again here. Oh, that was a really good shot. Definitely feel like I have an emphasis on a lower ball speed just to make sure I get it going there. Yeah, that looks good on the burn lane. Like I'm thinking this could be like a really good transitional ball, like a really good transitional ball. I think that was the most important shot of the video so far, where I got it in and it shaped a little bit, strong enough. Yeah, I'm, it was okay on the fresh. This is nuts here. Okay, that would have been insane. Right, let's project this one going right a little bit more. I missed in on that last one. That last shot was it right there. Let's repeat that here. Let's move one left off that wrap 10. I haven't been this far left in a while. Ooh! Yeah, this ball's pretty nutty on this burn lane. Let's keep making a couple more good shots here. Missed in. But I got a handful of that. Let's continue to inch left here. I, I, I still don't want to be shoving it right, though. All right, one more shot here with the Eternity. And then we will take our last break. Hit it! No. Oh. All right, so after 12 shots on the fresh, 12 shots on the burn, I definitely think that this is a ball that I'm gonna use predominantly on the burn. On the fresh, it's a little bit too long, not strong enough in the middle part of the lane, but on the transition lane, it looks really good. It definitely won't be a ball that I'll chase forever left, but it'll definitely be like that first go-to ball. Let's get back on the lanes on 33, and I'm gonna try to move right a little bit just to see what it looks like. All right, let's move right to see what it looks like on the burn lane here. Yeah, this ball just likes to be hooked, so let's just, let's just chase it in a little. All right, let's, let's just try to make some good shots here. That 
That was a really good shot. Let's see if I can repeat that here. Well, that was a really, really good shot. All right, let's go one more. That's, that's really good. All right, last shot of the day here. God, let's do one more. All right, last shot of the day here. All right, so now we're all done reviewing the Eternity, and I think that from a usability standpoint with the out of box finish, for me, it's gonna be that first go-to ball after whatever you throw in the fresh. Maybe like after a reality, something like that. I think I wanna to try to knock that polish off maybe with like a 3000 and see what it looks like again on the fresh and on the burn. The Reactor Gloss for me has been either love it or hate it. I think I'm closer to that. I hate the out of box surface on this Eternity. I do think that this ball has massive amounts of potential though. And I think that's a really good thing. So click right here to watch another one of my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.